this week's episode of Naruto Shippuden. Naruto and the entire Shinobi Alliance combine their strength to take back the Beast Chakra from Obito Uchiha. This was a pretty hard-ass episode right here. Definitely one of my favorites from the war arc, not only in the manga version, but now in the anime version. I love the atmosphere of this episode, and I love the artwork. In particular, that Kurama Susano hybrid. That was definitely my favorite scene from this week's episode. It was one of my favorite scenes from the entire series, period, because it's the perfect example of Naruto and Sasuke combining their best abilities and working together. This is something that has been hinted throughout the series because we saw Madara do this earlier in a flashback, and the minute everyone saw that, we all knew that Naruto and Sasuke were probably going to try this, and their version of it looks Awesome! I love everything about it because it stays true to both Susano and Kurama. It has the form of Kurama, the actual shape, but the armor over its body is very Susano-like. I love the color scheme, the dark purple with the energy constantly emanating from its body. I especially love the jaws of the creature because its teeth are bright orange, another great representation from Naruto. But what's really great about this battle is that Naruto and Sasuke are not going to be able to do this by themselves. They're going to need some help, and that's going to involve a lot of the old favorite characters. And they all jump in into one of Kurama's tails and take hold of the Rasengan, and they each get their own honorary Kurama's Chakra Cloak. It just makes them look really awesome, and can you just imagine a group of cosplaying as all of these characters with the Chakra Cloak? That would be freaking awesome. So the roster this week that's helping out Naruto is pretty awesome. We have Shikamaru, we have Ino, we have Choji. That's the classic Ino Shikacho team. We have Rock Lee, we have Ten Ten, and unfortunately, because Neji did pass away, he's going to be replaced by Sai. But Sai, you're okay in my book. We also have Shino, the most badass, underused character of the show. We have Kiba, one of the funniest characters. And of course, we have fan favorite Hinata. They all jump in, they all start to help, but Obito's not exactly just going to go down without a fight. In fact, he's got some really ridiculous weapons of his own. He's able to mold his liquid metal black chakra into a massive, and when I mean massive, I mean holy crap, he's compensating for something massive, big shield and sword. And the look of the sword is awesome. It takes like this form of like DNA and a double helix, and it has these spikes all over it, and it doesn't matter. He just ends up getting destroyed by this Kurama combo, which literally cuts through him like a massive samurai beast. And this actually causes all of the beast chakra to start exploding out of his side, and then Naruto starts to try and take it back. This is basically where the big tug-of-war part of the episode takes place, and this is what involves the entire Shinobi Alliance. At first, Naruto and Sasuke and the entire team can only seem to pull out the chakra of most of the demons. They still can't pull it out from Shukaku, the One Tails, and of course from uh, the Eight Tails himself. That's where Gara and Killer B come in, and just the fact that they came in is great because they're both Jinchuriki characters and they're definitely one of my favorites. Then we got Minato who comes in, and he actually spreads out his chakra to the entire Shinobi Alliance, literally like chakra ropes, and this allows everybody to jump in and start pulling and taking this chakra away. It's at this point of the episode that we finally get to see something really interesting, and that's actually what's going on inside of Obito's head. There's a lot of visions he has this week, especially when he's fighting Naruto and when he's having the chakra taken from him. The first one is sort of like this regrettable vision he has where this was the life he could have lived if he decided to leave Madara and go back to Konoha Village and just live as a normal ninja and try to work with Kakashi, it would have been nice. He would have had a good life. He could have even possibly become the Hokage, which is what he dreamed. And when both him and Naruto are connected, Naruto can actually sense his feelings and what's going on inside of him, and he can actually see the things that he has done. And by the end of the episode, there's that scene that we've all been seeing from the intro of the show where it's Obito on one side, Naruto and the entire freaking Shinobi Alliance on the other. And obviously this is serving a purpose. It's to show us how alone and singular Obito is. He looks behind him, and there's no one there to back him up, whereas Naruto has all of his friends there to help him out in any situation. And there's a scene where Naruto literally transforms into Obito for a second, and this is when you can tell it's finally starting to get under his skin a little bit, and he's really wondering why Naruto is doing all of this. And the episode just sort of ends right there, 
obviously Naruto is clearly about to influence Obito in a really interesting way. So, what's the rundown on this week's episode of Naruto Shippuden? It was awesome! I loved it! I loved the pacing of this week's episode a lot more than the last one, because they jumped right into the action, and it was really exciting. The artwork and the atmosphere is the one that really, like, sold me for this week's episode, though. Like, every scene where you saw the Kurama Susano looked really, really great. I still love the fact that Rock Lee got to wear the Kurama Chakra Cloak. That just looks so awesome. I still wish they would have done a little bit more with them. Personally, if it were me, and I were doing the anime series, and I was the director, my decision would have been to maybe add an extra five-minute action scene where you have all of the characters with Naruto's Chakra Cloak doing a little bit of hand-to-hand -hand combat with Obito before they decide to do the whole, like, big samurai sword slash. Despite that, I'm still pretty satisfied by this week's episode, if only the fact that it was slightly ruined in the intro for those who just watched the anime version, but still, I think it did the chapter justice, and uh, it's an episode that you should definitely not miss, especially because we're getting very close to uh, what looks like the defeat of Obito Uchiha. I mean, it's inevitable. The guy's not gonna friggin' win and destroy everybody, but uh, obviously there's going to be a few more juicy developments after that. Otherwise, I like this episode a lot. It had good artwork, it had good animation, the music cues were really great, and it featured a ton of fan-favorite characters. So, that's reason enough to check this out if you're a big Naruto fan, especially considering the fact that the series itself is going to be coming to a close very soon. I believe that this episode right here sort of coincides with the fact that we have about 50 or so chapters worth of material to work with for the anime version, so you can probably maybe chop that in half slightly to show how many episodes we actually do have left unless they're going to decide to drag things out a little bit more. But I am confident that they're going to do a lot of really interesting things with the rest of the anime series. We just have to wait and see what that's going to be. But let's stay tuned for next week's episode because it looks like we're going to get a little more Obito Uchiha backstory. But this week's episode right here was pretty good. It was not perfect. There were a few moments that could have looked a little better. And some of the flashbacks were frankly kind of unnecessary. Most of them did serve a purpose though. So I'm going to give this week's episode a 4 out of 5. Check it out Naruto fans. You will not be disappointed. Thank you guys for watching my review. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And before you guys leave, please tell me what you thought about this week's episode of Naruto Shippuden. How did you feel about this one? Did you have a favorite character who appeared this week? And what do you want to see from the rest of the Naruto Shippuden anime series? Before you guys leave, please subscribe to our channel. If you have not already, you can do so by clicking on the channel icon right up here. You guys can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter.